Hello Leo and welcome to your reading. Your ancestors have some messages for you. They want to guide you through something or guide you about something going on right now. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what they have to say, Leo. Right, you guys got the Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. Leo, this is your confirmation from your ancestors that it is time to act. It's time to make a move. It's time to go down the path of change that you've been contemplating. All right, whatever you've been wanting, you've been thinking about, you've been contemplating, this is your confirmation that the time is now. And if you've been waiting on a sign, like, you know, universe, give me a sign. If this is what I'm supposed to do, this is that sign. It's like, Leo, take action now. And what that action is, is going to be different for each and every one of you, as this is a general reading. But that's what your ancestors are encouraging, okay? And also, being an ace, it's time for new energy. It's time to go about something in a new way, taking a different approach. Okay, so let's pull some more cards and see what they would like to add to this. Be thankful, gratitude, appreciation, and harmony. <clears throat> so this is a message from your ancestors to pull your thoughts out of fear and anxiety about shifting, changing, going about something in a new way, or finally taking action towards something. Instead of having anxiety and fear, put yourself more into a place of trust and optimism and gratitude. Notice everything around you that is currently going right and working in your favor and working towards your daily happiness and comfort. The food that you consume, the clothes that you wear, the home in which you reside, the bed in which you lay, all of that serves you, Leo. And your ancestors are saying, focus on everything that does serve you and your existence and feel gratitude for it because that's really going to pull you out of your fear and make you feel strong and stable and courageous to move forward. And connect with animals, animal spirit guides, healing, past pets. All right, so... There is an animal spirit around you at present. And this animal spirit is either an animal that you had owned who has transitioned and you feel that energy around you, but you're just not sure this is your confirmation. And for others of you, this is a very specific animal spirit and it's gonna start popping up in your reality or it has been popping up in your reality in different ways through emojis, um, you know, people talking randomly about a specific animal, seeing it in shows and videos, all right? There's an animal spirit that's also working with you, really uh, trying to get your attention. So pay attention to, you know, anything animal or insect and the same animal or insect that keeps popping up, do a Google search for the deeper spiritual meaning connected to that animal, okay? And for those of you where this is, a pet that has transitioned, this pet comes in to give you comfort and let you know that death of the physical form is not the end of things and that you are eternally connected, all right? So there's a lot of healing energy being directed towards you at this time from an animal spirit. So let's pull some more cards, Leo. Let's go deeper into this message. All right, 
wow, we've got the Ten of Sacred Circles. Eight of Sacred Circles. And King of Swords. Leo, you're ready. If you want to start your own business or start doing something on the side, your ancestors are saying, yes, Leo, go for it. If you <clears throat> want to change where you currently work, if you want to change your career path, this is an absolute yes, do it. Leo, you are ready. Anything that you're thinking of to better yourself and your circumstances and your abundance, this is your ancestors telling you to pursue that. If you need to return to school for, you know, um, to expand your education or your skills or your knowledge, do it. It will be very lucrative for you. Any big change you want to make in, like, within your family, um, a relocation, new living situation, it's a yes. In fact, everything coming out is saying it is time for a change. And yes, Leo, you are absolutely ready for it. You have everything that you need. And again, if there's more knowledge or skill that's required, Go to the source in which you can receive that. And your ancestors will continue to give you signs and synchronicities. And this animal spirit is also going to make itself very known and encourage you and support you in any change that you're wanting to make at this time for the betterment of yourself. Also, if you have been trying to go about something and it's like you just you're not getting success this is where your ancestors say it's time to take an entirely new approach at this look we have judgment don't be so hard on yourself And you know, don't worry about what others will think of you, Leo. They're not living your life. Your life is your gift. Nine of Cups. The Tower. Six of Swords. Seven of Cups. And the Hermit. Okay. Leo, when in doubt, always check in with your soul. Your, your soul will guide you. And what's interesting about this hermit, you know, the hermit's holding the staff, which could be the Ace of Wands, right? Plus we have a crab here, and we have a dog, and then we have a bird. So that goes back into that animal spirit that's around you. And the hermit is wise and grown. Wow. So like these two cars depicted here in this hermit, all right? And even the moon of the uncertainty for you. It is time, Leo, to take action towards what you want, towards a change you've been wanting to make, towards a shift in your job, career path, a shift in your money, your income, whatever it is for you personally, it's time and you're ready. There should be no fear. And Again, if you do need to learn or grow, follow that path. It will open up for you. But see, here, it's time. And what you decide and the way you go about it may surprise some people. It may even shock you, Leo. But the path to your happiness, to your wish fulfillment, is your willingness to make the move take the action, put the first foot forward towards it, start with what you have right now where you are today and know that that's enough. When you start getting fear-based, anxiety, worry, go back into the acknowledgement of everything in your life that currently supports you and adds to your existence and, and your comfort and your happiness 
because it will be a very grounding, stabilizing experience for you. But you're ready. And I feel like that keeps coming through because you're waiting. It's like, I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on this sign. I'm waiting on some big shift. And your ancestors are saying, Leo, you're the one that makes that shift. You're the one that decides. And they're telling you everything you're fearing that's currently holding you back. It's not an issue. Your path forward is clear. And again, if you feel really stuck, it's time to go about doing something in a brand new way and that will bring you success. It's time, Leo. Autumn, release the old and rest. <clears throat> Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Moon, take note of intuitive messages. Okay, so this animal spirit, along with your ancestors, are speaking to you through your intuition. Okay, really take notice of that. Also, see the, the water guardian. Connect with your emotions and the hunter. Track down your fear. Connect into your emotions of your desire, of your excitement, of what you want to manifest, of all the good emotions that you can feel inside. And don't worry about fear, the things that you fear. All right, it's your ancestors are saying it's insignificant and they'll constantly give you reassurance through your intuition along with this animal spirit that's also working with you. But it is time for change, Leo. It is time to release something and let the past go and open yourself up to the new and not have any fear in what people might think or say because they don't live your life, Leo. You do. And at the end of the day, you're the one that decides what you're doing, where you are, what you're going to be doing the next day. You have so much power and control over that. And your ancestors want you to know that. And again, when you are feeling really lost, really unsure, clear yourself, balance yourself, clear your mind, connect in with your intuition and see what messages are coming through. Because your ancestors will speak to you. Your uh, this passed on uh, animal spirit or just an animal spirit in general. There's some animal that's also working with you and guiding you and helping you at this time. And Leo, just taking that first step towards something you want. You may find yourself very shocked at how well things move forward and fall into place for you. Your ancestors saying, taking the action, making the change, trying a new approach is exactly what you need to do for the success that you're desiring or the emotional fulfillment that you desire. Give not of wisdom, but of faith and lovingness, teaching. And just look at the, the wise image that's depicted there. This is saying, yes, you need to use your logic, right? In, in day to day. And right now, this making this move, making this change, whatever it is for you, it's not a logical thing, Leo. It's something that you just feel and know in your soul. And you've been searching externally for that sign that, yes, this is the way. 
and your mind is, is full of thoughts, but it's your it, within your soul where you'll just know, okay, yeah, I must take this action. I must follow this path. You'll just have this knowing. And that goes back to that hermit energy. Adventure time. I take myself somewhere wonderful each day to a park with a special tree to a cafe. I give myself adventures and explore the world I am blessed to be a part of. See, it's time for a new adventure, Leo. And that is what your ancestors wanted you to know. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.